a great day for the Boilermakers. Um, we sent out 23 letters and got 23 back, which is always a great thing. Uh, if you take a look at the numbers across the country, there's 254,000 young men that play football as seniors, and uh, there are 5,000 scholarships that are given out each year. And that's how you try to get to your magical number of 23, which is where we signed. Um, and you take a look at the whole process from the beginning. You look at your current roster, and you see how many guys you need for positions, and then you look at the signees, which you'll get a chance to talk to some of our uh, guys that were here prior to us getting here, the committed guys, the 13 committed guys. You take a look at all those numbers, and you try to get to that magical number of 23. And we decided as a staff that we're going to take 10 guys uh, once we got here, and we wanted to have a Midwestern flavor. So we looked at Ohio, we looked at Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, uh, Michigan, and uh, decided that uh, we're going to go after it pretty hard. And from those 10 or 11, we signed four from Ohio, and we signed two from Illinois, one from Kentucky, and the other guys came from Florida. We had two from Florida and then one from, um, one from Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia. So, but if you look at the whole composite of the class, we took five from Ohio, five from Florida, five, five from Georgia, three from Indiana, three from Illinois, and we took uh, one from Kentucky and one from Texas. So that was the composite of the class. And we think it's a very unique class. I think if you, if you study them, the thing that you see is it's a hybrid class where there's a lot of guys that can play different positions. You look at the, the, the uh, secondary, corners can play safety, safeties can play corner. There's a lot of linebackers who can put their hand in the dirt. I think there's a lot of defensive linemen who can stand up and play on their feet. So, so that's a, one of the things that we liked about this class. The other thing, if you look on the offensive side, you have running backs who can play in the slot. We have a great tight end, we think, that can, we can detach from the formation and give us some things from the outside. Uh, but uh, it's going to be an amazing class. Can't wait to get started. I think the big thing now for us as a coaching staff is to get to know our current players that are here on campus. You know, you talk about the good teachers Know their, know their schemes and they, they know their lesson plans, but the great teachers know their players. So that's one of the things that we got to do as a staff is really get to, to sit down with our current players and uh, move forward in, in that direction. Darrell, you mentioned right from the jump that uh, there's a lot of guys in this class you think can play other positions. Can you maybe, uh, uh, I guess, highlight a couple of those guys you think you can use in a couple of different capacities? Well, again, I think you can det detach the tight end. He can play outside, so you don't have to change personnel groupings all the time if you want to get in the four wide sets. But you take a look at that back end and the secondary. Those guys, like Coach Haycock said, you know, those corners are physical. And uh, you got guys coming downhill, and they're going to strike you. You can play them at safety. It's, uh, and, you know, you're a little thin at safety uh, with the, the, the roster right now, but I think a lot of those young guys will be able to step right in. And then you take a look at the running backs. Those guys can all catch, uh, so you can always detach those guys out of the backfield and put them in the slot if you need to. So, it's all about creating depth. So some other schools were uh, interested in Keontae Green down the stretch. Just how important was it to keep him uh, in the fold? And what kinds of things do you like about him? You're right. There was a lot of guys coming in those last couple of weeks and trying to knock on his door, but and that's what's so strong about the kid. He stayed committed to us, and, and, and he loves Purdue. And that's one of the things we talked about. Let's get guys here that absolutely love to be here. And he was one of those guys. Um, and I thought our staff did a good job of going down and really creating a, uh, and, and establishing a relationship with the grandmother who was very vital in this decision-making process for him. Just how exciting was it? to recruit this class in, in obviously a very unusual situation in a short turnaround. Well, it's exciting. And, you know, our staff did such a great job in a short period of time of going out and finding the best players that were out there. And, uh, you know, it all starts with the evaluation process. And those guys are such great evaluators. And I thought they did an unbelievable job of yielding some of those great players that were out there. Darrell, when you recruit guys, you obviously want to get to know them as best you can. When you're working with the sort of calendar you were working with, did you feel like you had enough time to establish the sort of relationship you want to get with kids? You know, not as well as you like to. You, know, you like to get to know the dog and all those other things that you don't 
in, in a three-week period, you couldn't get to know as much as you like to, but you do the best job that you can in that short period of time.